Hello, crafty YouTube people. Um, this video, either you'll be watching it. Obviously, if you're watching it, then it turned out good. Otherwise, I'll just be discarding this video because this is just um, a thought I have for um, a project I've been working on. So, okay, this is a continuation of my Diamond Dyes design team project, my first one. Um, if you'd like to order any of their dies, you can do so on their website. And when you do, use um, coupon code Carrie's Friend, and it'll get you 10% off plus free shipping. K E R R I S F R I E N D. So we'll get those out of the way. I only got. Where's my phone? Sorry. I only got about a half hour. Just a little over a half hour, actually, until um, my son Michael gets off the bus. So I have to do this kind of quick. Now, the part I've been mulling over, the project that we're working on is this canvas. And the part I've been trying to figure out is how to put the quote on. And I could put it up here. I was looking at down here. I was actually just downstairs trying to get my printer to print onto black cardstock, like white ink onto black cardstock, and then I was just going to put it over this. And, um, or I, you know, I'm like, oh, I could put it up in here, but I really love the way the paint job turned out and the texture that you can feel and all that. So I don't want to cover it up too much. You know what I mean? I, I mean, I already. I'm going to do more with the canvas itself, but I don't want to just put this great big blob of words on there. So I have an idea, and um, I don't know how it's going to turn out yet, but my idea is to make a ring that goes around the canvas and actually attaches on each corner and have the quote go around it like that. I don't know if this is going to work, so that's why I say just bear with me. Um, I don't even know if my protractor will, I don't know how I'm going to do this. Let's put it that way. Okay. So your guess right now is as good as mine. Right now I'm just marking the corners of the canvas. Um, because it's obviously going to have to touch in the corners. And this is a 6x6 six six canvas, um, but corner to corner is 8.5 inches. So, um, sorry, I'm just thinking, you know. It's like, how do we do it? How do we do it? All right, let's erase all. I have way too many marks on here. I won't even begin to know which one's the actual corner. What I really need to do, first of all, I need to make sure that I have my canvas on here centered. I was just going to use my protractor, but I don't know if that will. Oh, I was almost centered. I was like an eighth of an inch off. But it really wouldn't have made a big deal. And I was a quarter of an inch off on this way. And I could sit here and do this all day long. <laughs> Every time I hit it. That's close enough. Stop trying to be a perfectionist. <laughs> so I guess what I really need to do is just get right in there on the corner. That's a really rounded corner. All right. So. Okay. And then, if I find, the 
center point. Yeah, that looks to be the center point. I know you can't see my marks on here, but if you want to see the whole... This is medium weight chipboard, by the way. If you want to see the whole um, piece of chipboard, i got to have it that far out. Alright, now I suck with protractors. always have. <laughs> see what I mean? I need a protractor that locks in place. Because I keep moving it. I don't know, maybe it's the way I hold it. I guess you're supposed to just hold it up here at the top. See, it still moves. Are they supposed to lock? Do they lock somehow? Does anybody know? This one moves so easily. Like, I liked it because it was blue, and I was like, oh, it's so cute. But I think I'd refer those one, prefer, remember those ones you used to get back in the day in art class that were metal, and you had to get a crowbar to get them to open up? Yeah, see, this is moving, because there's no way it's that far off. It's like the only way I got to draw a perfect circle though, unless I wanted to try to get my um, Cricut to cut it for me. Okay, I have enough of a circle that I can cut. how it moves. I'd like to get one really good solid line. There we go. I don't know what I'm doing but it seems to be working. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and cut that out. And I'm going to pray that it works because the one thing I hate to waste is chipboard. Because, um, I know I've mentioned it in my videos before, but, um, I order my chipboard from Walmart.com. And,. Sorry, just trying to get it in there to where I can get the scissors in there without messing up my circle. But anyways, I order it from walmart.com. And get this. Walmart will ship all sorts of stuff over here to us in Germany, like to our APO. But they won't ship chipboard. A 
And you know, I just realized I already messed it up. So I don't even want to cut anymore because I need the outside, not the circle. I already cut into it. <laughs> but if I just leave it like that, I can still use this piece of chipboard. Because I mean, the only part that's not usable is right here. So let me grab a new piece of chipboard and let's try that again. Oh. See, I was all paranoid. I mean, I could finish cutting that out and then use it as a template, but I really don't need a circle template like that. Um, but anyway, so yeah, like those, they'll, they'll ship all sorts of stuff over here, except for like really big stuff. Like I tried to order my kids like toy organizers and stuff like that off of there. And that was one of the things that they wouldn't ship to us over here. And I can understand because like they ship that stuff, UPS and all that. Um, and to ship it through the postal service tends to make it a little more expensive. So, and the one thing Walmart is good about is the stuff that they do ship over here. Really good on the um, shipping cost to us. But, like I was saying, sorry for my head. Trying to get that corner in there. But like I was saying, the one thing they won't ship to, well, one of the things that, uh, and it's weird because I mean, it's not like it's a big package, is chipboard. I don't know if maybe there's, I don't know, dies or something in it. Oops. But, um, but so yeah, so I have, one of the, the things we do have is there's this thing called APObox.com. And if you're overseas, um, you can create an account on there and they'll, they give you a stateside address. Uh, here we go again. They'll give you a stateside address that you can put in for the shipping address and have it shipped to them and then they ship it to you. And so I ordered like two big packages of their chipboard, which I think turns out to be like 48 pieces because I think there's 24, no, there's 25 in a package. So it turned out to be 50 pieces of cards that, or chipboard. I feel it moving. I don't, ugh. Yeah, I'll be looking into a different protractor, comp compass, whatever you call these darn things, because I don't like this one at all. Um, so anyways. I <laughs> get all quiet because I'm concentrating. So, okay. So, anyways, oh, it takes me forever to tell a story when I'm crafting, I know. So I had it sent to my APO box, the APO.com box that we have. And all they did was take the exact box that Walmart shipped it in, tore the label off of it, put a new label on it, and put it back in the mail. And I mean, that is 
awesome for big packages, like anything that you would have shipped um, that this, in the States would have shipped UPS. But they charged me, I think it was like $26 just to do that. I was like, oh, heck no. Not when I can have it shipped to my mom's house and have my mom put it in a flat rate box and mail it to me for like, what is it, like 11, 12 bucks for a medium sized flat rate box. And then she always, you know, she usually includes some sort of a goodie or something for the kids or, or for me. Because I may be pushing 31 years old, but I tell you what, there's nothing like my mom's no bake cookies. Yes, I cannot believe. Now I know many of you are gonna be like, "Oh, shut up, you're young." But I just I can't believe I'm. I'll be hitting 30 next weekend, October 6th, the, or 31. Sorry. See, I'm trying to make myself younger already. So, I know there's probably some of you out there that are older than me, and you're all like, oh, you're young, enjoy it. And I do. Believe me, I enjoy my life very, very much. I enjoy my kids, even though I'm always like, oh, they drive me nuts, or they're so loud, or anything that I may say. I, I do not wish away these years of my kids' lives at all. Like, I actually, my youngest, and shame on me for, do, for doing so, but he's like six, seventeen months now, and he's still takes a bottle at nap time and bedtime and he shouldn't and he's way past that bottle stage but to me it makes him still be my baby but heck my four year old I try to get him to still be my baby at times love it when he'll cuddle up with me on the couch or something so Sorry for my head, and we made it too big. Hmm. Ended up too big. If it touches on one side, it doesn't touch on the other. So, my stomach's growling too. Don't know why I just ate. So what we could do though, I could still put it in here. Oh, I guess it does touch on all four corners, just barely, but it does. So I could definitely still make that work easily. So, inch and a half. <laughs> so, but yeah, so I try to make my kids stay my babies for longer than they should, apparently. But my little man's my last. There's no more. I don't think I can handle more. <laughs> I have three boys. So. I don't think I could handle feeding that anymore. Last night we had... Um, Ranch chicken, which is just um, drumsticks with 
Um, sorry, I'm trying to think of how to do this. It's just drumsticks with, you use chicken, or you use ranch dressing mix. And uh, breadcrumbs. Make a shake and bake with it, and then you bake it. And my my four-year-old and my sixteen-month-old each ate um, one with some of their. Well, the four-year-old didn't really eat his veggies. And then our nine-year-old ate three. Mm, it's not going to work with the center missing. Ah. So yeah, I don't think I could afford to feed any more than three. Especially not when they're always talking about the military not getting paid. I hate to say, I hate to change my way because that's going to be another wasted piece of chipboard. So. But yeah, so back to what we were originally talking about. So I just have it shipped to my mom and have her <laughs> mail everything to me with whatever goodies she encloses. supposed to go to points. Note to, to everyone out there, don't buy a protector, compass, whatever you call them, just because it's cute. Okay? Cute does not necessarily mean it's going to work. The biggest problem is I have no center point anymore. of the puzzle back together <laughs> okay so if you're gonna do something like this <clears throat> do your outside circle first okay then from it cut out the center because that is what's okay you did come out of there you will go back into there. It's like that puzzle piece. You know it goes in there. <laughs> Alright. Let's just try to roll with it like that. Alright. 
Right. <laughs> oh, gosh. Let me check my time. Oh, I've got like enough time to get this cut out and that's about it. With the baby still sleeping though, I might be able to get Michael to come up and lay in my bedroom and watch TV. And I might be able to work a little more. Y'all just might hear him come in and say stuff to me. bus is coming a little later. Oh, that's not today though. I believe it's only Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays. They added another kid to his bus route. Uh, but I think it's only Monday, Wednesday, Fridays. And today would be Tuesday. So, he should be on time today. This is just the um, the Prima Distress Tool. And I'm just, I'm not distressing. I don't know if it's called just the Distress Tool. But it's got like a file and a distressor and a bone folder. All built in. Just mm. this is an emery board because I'm trying to make my edges curl around towards the back, and I haven't worked with the Prima Distress tool much. I just recently got it. Um, cherry on top was having a sale and uh, I got it and then the um, We Are Memory Keepers um, envelope punch board and I'll be honest I didn't really get it to be able to punch envelopes I love the way everybody was making um, file folders with them, so that was why I got it. <laughs> I mean, I'm sure I'll use it to make um, envelopes as well, but I thought it was so cute to be able to make little tiny file folders. So, if I could pick it up, oh, it will work. I definitely have to do something with it, though. But I want to attach it right to the top, like the the top of the canvas, not the back of it, so that it's out, like even with the top part of the canvas, you know what I mean? And I think I can make it work. Because honestly, with a little bit of rotating, you usually, like right there, it almost stays on its own. So, 
So now I just need to figure out what we're going to do to it and figure out how I'm going to apply the quote to it. I need to figure out how to get a little smoother edge on it too. Although an eraser seems to be working pretty good. So, this video is already at 31 minutes anyways, so I'm going to end this one for now. And when I get a chance to come back up and work, we'll just start a new video. So there's 31 minutes worth of figuring out how to make a circle with a hole in it. Awesome. <laughs> Trial and error, though. This video just shows that everybody makes mistakes, you know? And I, I'll be honest, I love seeing, <laughs> as weird as this sounds, I love seeing people make mistakes because it makes it where I don't feel so bad when I make a mistake. Like, I know I'm not the only one making mistakes. You know what I mean? So, sometimes I feel like you see some of these crafters that create crazy beautiful things and it's like, okay, well, you know what? Did you ever mess up? Did you ever just, um... You know, you just like never see the mistakes. All you ever see is the good stuff. So I like to show some trial and error stuff. And I don't even know if this is going to work, but we're going to roll with it. We're going to see how it turns out. So I'm going to go and get Michael Mann off the bus and see what I can get him settled into doing and seeing if I can get back up here. So thank you all for watching and we'll see you soon. Bye-bye.